Welcome everybody to this new video text press. Today I'm going to be showing you how to attract more clients into Fiverr, but don't want to, uh, let's say, pay for an actual portfolio. Feature is going to be helping you a lot to get started here. So the very first thing I want to do course to get started is to uh, create an actual website into Fiverr or let's say your own account to Fiverr. Now what is important, why is important to create an actual portfolio? When you check out here, um, all of these users they have generated their actual uh, work here, you can see that they do have like uh, previews of how they actually works, have the reviews, this basic plan, standard plan, uh, their portfolios. This is stuff that you can do on your own and great of course the best great elements that you can use to get started course is to create your own rate the more reviews you get the more chances you have to get hired and how do you get clients how do you get reviews well you need to get a really great portfolio right so to create an actual free portfolio all we can do is to start with a place where you can upload and organize your work samples for example, you can create a free Behance, a free Canva portfolio and add your best projects. Or you can use a free website. For example, there's the Google Sites where you can create a simple portfolio page. And once you have done this, you can copy the link to the portfolio and use them directly here into Fiverr. So I'm going to go here into my account. I'm going to choose my profile. And basically, you can see that we have the location where we actually joined, preferred working hours. We can check out the public profile. And we have now Basically, that will be actually it. But if I want to add more stuff about sharing how you plan, we can use the Fiverr, set the communication preferences, uh, and much more if we can do it so. So uh, let's say, for example, what brings you to Fiverr? Let's say selling freelance services. And I have this start a portfolio here. Now, when I choose to start a portfolio, we can enable the one that says made on Fiverr, and we can creating our own projects. So basically what I'm going to do here is to import all my projects that I could be working on. For example, project name. Do you enter the name of the project? And here I have the project duration. For example, I have the 7.30 days. The project cost of this project. Let's say, for example, this is the actual value of the project. The project started on. And when did it finished. Now the project description, for example, you can enter uh, what are uh, the goals, any challenges, how we dealt with them, the attachment if I wanted to import them, and it should be appearing right in here. So we can import, for example, files here, we can import um, previews, thumbnails, images, and even I think that we can add um, previews of how it actually worked, those elements, right? So we can do it right away, or we can just enter this into my catalog or not. And basically, for example, let's say that I go for choose my files, I go for my desktop, and I choose, for example, I don't know, maybe into my downloads. I have the number available, try to refresh the page, and here's the project code, for example, and I pull list my project. The more projects I add into my portfolio, the more chances I get to get higher here into Fiverr. That's the reason why I wanted to really, really tell you guys that every project you worked on, even if this is probably for a friend or for yourself, you wanted to create this new project and add their project directly here into the portfolio. So once again, the more work you had here, the more chances you get to get hired uh, here inside this great, great, great element of the Fiverr. So once I finished with this process, I'm gonna go for checking out my portfolio appearing into my Fiverr. Now, I told you that you can create your own uh, portfolio into somewhere else, into an actual website, so you can enter that link directly into Fiverr. This can be helping you to, let's say, prove that you are working, um, let's say, outside Fiverr and that you have a lot of content out there. So basically, all of this logos design, for example, that we have done so far, we can, of course, choose it to copy the site link and paste it directly here into my portfolio. So I can go back directly here into my account, I go for my profile, and here I can just choose to preview my profile or to, let's say, for example, add more stuff, for example, here into my uh, preview my public dashboard, and I hit now into save. 
So this should be bringing more credibility to my account and of course can be helping me to, let's say for example, have more expertise about it. But the more you fill your website, the more you have chances to be working here into Fiverr. For example, you can create an actual entry video here into Fiverr. You can enter an education element. We have a certification that we can master here. Uh, skills and expertise, Fiverr load batches and basically much more stuff that you can be adding here. So basically that's how we can actually get starting adding um, elements here into into the Fiverr. So the more um, stuff that you have created here, the more elements that you have learned so far, the more uh, you are willing to get more works and basically that will be actually it. So with that being said guys, you have not reached the very end of the video, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more great elements, how we can get started here into Fiverr.com. Thank you once again for watching this video and hopefully we can all see you guys next time.